course we were going to do the sequel. I mean, why do why do one game and forget the other, especially when the other turns out to be the better of the two, in my personal opinion? Well, it's, yeah, the, the second... We, we, I soon learned with James, the second one's the one that actually has the games you give a darn about. Yeah, like good old Pac-Man, or... Oh, there's the sound, Jesus! And dig to, yeah, it's just it's a, a very quiet audio attract, but yeah. Let's go with the least known game people care about. Hey, people know about Rally X. The, one, the funny thing about this particular arrangement is that it's the only one of the entire series that is one player only. A second player cannot join in, so unfortunately Logan mm. had to sit out. I get to watch, just like oh, you. Well. Yep, get to watch as I drive around the track and grab the flags as always, and appreciate all those Pac-Man statues I keep running yeah. across. So real mm. quick, you, you specifically saying Logan just gets to watch you. Is this another one of your Parsec Night shenanigans? Of course. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, part, yeah. We did parts of I thought you were saying, like, the shenanigans was that he pulled on me oh, thinking, ow. you'll get to play... And y- you know, Logan, maybe it's a good thing you didn't get and to play. And then we get to play. Cause, uh, but I was thinking, like, this seems so ridiculous. Like, this looks like a perfect game to have multiplayer. Have two players, split screen, racing against each other, trying to get all the flags. Can I also just say I love how the fact that for a good second or two, there was dead silence after he crashed. Yes. A moment of silence for the vigilant blue car. I thought it would be. I thought it would punctuate how like tragic it was. Yeah, power up. But yeah, no, I I haven't. I I have not had much experience playing Rally X. So. I've only played it once. Like you, like the main gist of the game is that you have to go around this entire field and grab all the flags in it while while avoiding all sorts of obstacles, including the ever so evil red car. And uh, the further you go through the game, the more red cars they spawn to try and kill you. Now, the, what arrangement does is actually Ooh. fairly interesting. Um, every um, one of every flag that you come across in the level will turn blue, and when it turns blue, you'll get it. You'll gain an item that's currently hi- highlighted on the bottom of the screen. Oops. Unfortunately, it does not save you from death. <laughs> it's just so just happy, and just like <laughs> well. I know. I love the fact that we even, again, just stay completely silent for that. But yeah, um, other than that, I, I does, this does still look nice. Uh, just as a quick reminder, James, was this available, like, in arcades? Yep, it was an arca- It was more or less an arcade exclusive. Oh, which, is a, which is a shame, because, again, I do think, like, the arrangement series, or the uh, Capcom, or excuse me, Capcom, yeah, uh, that game, then, uh, Namco Classics Collection of series is honestly... A very, very overlooked series. I mean, considering the fact that it came out and came out in the arcades right when the arcade scene was starting to dwindle, mm-hmm, and so. it, it, they, they came out with some really interesting um, ideas of how to update these um, old these old school classics. Like again, we showed <laughs> off Galaga and Nappy and Xevious for what that's worth. And this collection here also has well the Namco the Namco classics that are more classic than the rest of them. Be, okay, this one. Also, let us just casually glance over the fact that you murdered someone there. To be fair, he was trying to murder me. He had a Welcome to 18 he and 16... It. 8 and 16-bit games, where murder is legal. I mean, oh. more or less... Oh, by the way, I'm actually kind of, like, dumbly curious about it. Are you guys going to look into that, um... Crap, what's that Ryan Reynolds movie that they're making called, like, um... Dragon Star? Uh, what? No, sorry. Oh. Jeez, no. God, I'm curious about that. I'm gonna look into it, of course. But no, what were uh, you actually talking about? The video, the one where he's in, the one where he's just a non, he's just an MP, the one where he's just an NPC in a video game. Uh, honestly, I this is the first I've heard of it. Really? Jeez. Jeez I, okay, I'm showing you guys that trailer after this. Let me look it up. Shit. Oh. Ow. Ow. And while we blow, we want blow in smoke. Let's uh, start on a game that apparent uh, that um, well. Now we get Logan back on the scene, and this is uh, Dig Dug. Yay, finally. About time we tried and, the arrangement. Uh, let's just say that with the co-op for Dig Dug arrangement, we discovered something that, well, Logan, you take the show for from here. Welcome, everybody, to a game that many will attempt to incriminate me for having an obsession with, but in actuality, Pac-Man was more my obsession in the Namco <laughs> library. So well, welcome, can everybody, you blame to... Us for- but can you blame us for making such accusations after we see what we do to this one guy here? Shush. It's just what the game plays all about. So, we are again are the typical digger. And be careful. Oops. 
So it's tip. It's just a traditional like you know combat. We thought, okay, it's co-op. Just take down all the baddies and hooray! Woohoo! Way to go, partner! Yeah, we got all the baddies. Which I still are they supposed to just be like under like monsters from the underground? That's pretty much what they are. Yeah, and um, even mm. the even the uh, that D, that DS revival game more or less made it as such. They're oh, just, okay. They're just they're just these these creatures that these nocturnal creatures that well, let's just say that they're kind of angry. We we broke into their territory at the at oh. the uh, break of day. Yeah. And, oh, nuts. And oh, and and as you saw, it is entirely possible to uh, there is kind of a, a rate. Hey, hey, hey. There is as you saw it is the oh. Well, wow. that was the day I learned, and that was the day we learned. Like we both have the same reaction of what? So yeah, yeah. that was the what? day we learned that apparently there is, <laughs> there is apparently a uh, competitive, fire. a co uh, a cooperative, as Borderlands Three called it. It's co-op, but also cooperative. Where it's co-op, but it's also no, 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 no. Honestly, I ah, the dino got the dino saved me. I can see that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now there's a whole thing of we can actually oh, use our we can actually use our lives. We can, I think it actually takes a life up too. But yeah, it's actually like now you're it's no Not longer clear. just the monsters you got to worry about. It's also your the, the other player who can knock you down and get you a fight, butt ton of points for it. You fight monsters, but you fight the worst monster of all. Your yes. humanity. Man. Uh, so yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So other than that, I'm hoping that. Uh, so other than that, uh, Matt, Jordy, what be your guys is? Uh, we need to get some. We need to get some. Word and edge wise, do any of these games look any valid familiar to you? Have you ever tried them in Namco arcades yeah. and stuff? Um, I mean, as far as this one goes, no. But I'm pretty sure I've tried at least Pac-Man. Because yeah. of yeah, course, I, I, everyone and their mothers played Pac-Man once in their life, and they and if they say otherwise, they're lying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, honestly, just because, like, if not Pac-Man, like, let's be honest, like, there are plenty, and we'll probably oh. talk well more oh. in advance once we, oh, jeez, I forgot about the dashers. We'll definitely get more time to talk about once we actually get to the Pac-Man segment, but, like, it's, it's kind of, Pac-Man's honestly kind of evolved from more than just, like, hey! <laughs> more than it's just, evolved more than just, hey! Yeah, it, it's now B. No, but it, it's, it's become more than just, like, its own game. It's, like, other level, uh, entirely different franchises, entirely different game modes will use that same like method of like you're in a maze and you're running around collecting things in the maze. Like it's the gameplay, like concepts from it are honestly like not, pr pretty much tropes in and of themselves now. Yeah, and I mean, you want to know something that's also kind of funny? Uh, we brought the sort of tidbit before, but the character that we're currently playing as, uh, his official name is Tyler Horde, by the way. Um, he eventually had a son with the uh, with the uh, with the um, uh, female protagonist of um, Barduk, and yeah, they had a son named uh, Susumu, who run who's uh, the star of the uh, of Mr. <laughs> Driller. And as of recently, uh, one, oh. one of one of the Mr. Driller games has uh, been confirmed to get a Switch He's release. Mm hmm. hmm. Oh my god! And I, I was, I was very curious. It had to have been, and the, the one I mainly played was, um, again, the Driller game with the DS How with the monsters. How many levels of this are we gonna play? Just this one here. This is our tiebreaker, because he has three and I have three. So now it's all up to this to see who will know. Ah, I gotcha. Damn it! I'm the quick draw. Yeah. But uh, and now I got the well, fast. You pump. know, why am I not surprised that Logan uh, would be the master of this kind of no, stuff? No, we're not going to talk about that now. But <laughs> I was yes. just saying, like, be be honest. Was this the one of the rare games you found where James actually got salty at? No, we're still trying no, to find oh, that. no. We no, it's fine. But it looks like with just enough, it looks like pairing the scores together. Oh, I just barely got ahead for the tiebreaker. Hooray! And, and now we're that, done. We are we're tossing we're tossing that trash out to the out to the trash it's bin. The trash. And we shall move on to our final game, which uh, yeah, we actually did cover this game a little while back. Uh, Pac Man Arrangement. Cry baby. Wrong. I can't Silas. believe it said wrong. <laughs> and or I can't kinky. believe one of the ghosts' name is Kinky. But the cool thing kinky. about Kinky is that the second you eat Kinky, who can be blue at almost any time, it automatically acts like a power pellet. Oh yeah. dear. So, so uh, in Pac-Man Arrangement, you have you can take control of the typical Pac-Man, or the second player can control a random green Pac-Man to uh, uh. you know do the usual eat up eat up the power eat up the dots uh, eat the power pellets and the uh, and eat the ghosts if they turn blue all that 
you, so, know, you pretty much know this whole formula by now, though uh -huh. arrangement pulls a very interesting twist on it that involves uh, kinky. So ah. it looks like James is the lemon and Logan is the lime? Yes. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But who's I mean, the I, I mean, I, I'll go on record Whoa. saying that. I'm so I'll go on record saying Where? that, um, all things considered, they really missed an opportunity to make the second player miss Pac-Man, but, I mean, I'll take what I can get. Hey, as long as it works. So, you know uh, what they so the main gimmick of, of Kinky there is that if he's able, you can eat him whenever whenever he's on the on on the um uh, ma on the floor, but uh, whenever he, um, he interacts with one of the other ghosts, he can transform them into super ghosts. Ah. You know what? They could have used Lime Man here as one of his default. They could have used Lime Man as one of his palettes in Smash, but no. Oh yeah, yeah. they really could have actually. Mm. I will never. I'll, I'll never. I'll never let let, let Sakurai live that down. That he kind of half-assed the color schemes for Pac-Man. So it's just the bands. It's just his arm bands. I don't know. I think those are. Some... I arm think those warmers. are some really spiffy arm warmers, in my opinion. Red arm warmers. Uh, they, you know, they could have. You know, like, they could have. I feel like they could have done at least a little better than that. Like maybe colored his shoes and gloves, or you know, give him his hat from Pac-Land. Considering oh, the yeah. fact that his, his moveset is largely based off of Pac-Land. Right. And his stage is there, which I do know that that did bug some people that they chose that stage over the one in the 3D <coughs> version. Excuse me. Yeah, all right, no worries. I, I'm surprised they didn't just put in the pac maze alongside Pac-Land. Have the best of both worlds. Oh yeah. Uh, Matt, uh, what do you have to say about all this Pac-Man shenanigans? Uh, looks cute. I love Pac-Man. I played it when I was a kid, and I continue to play it. And yeah. Does the, do these do these new little mechanics? A little look bit. I do like how this game looks, at least. It looks. Oh yeah, no. Like I, I will go. I'll go on record as to say that this is easily one of my favorite iterations of Pac-Man, just for how fast Whoa, that's it, is cool power how it is, and just oh, how much boy. it changes from the overall formula while yeah. still keeping true to its roots. That's a cool yeah. little power up you got there, James. Hey guys, curiosity question. What's up? What's up? My dad is a very avid Pac-Man fan and a Pac-Man player. Do you think I should try to challenge him with one of these newer games? Only if you want to. Not. I think so. Um, but okay, but but so. I'm trying to think of like I don't know if they've I actually re I don't know if nuts I don't know if they've actually released because uh, we had to play this using Mame an emulator for arcade games. Right. I'm trying to uh -huh. think of for I'm trying to think of for in the case of you and your dad. I'm trying to think of like what what publicly accessible um, on current gen consoles. Oh, gotta get the big ghost. What currently accessible um, Pac-Man multiplayer games are there? Like are there, like what are some of the ones on Switch again? Uh, the only one on Switch, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2, which actually does have a uh, co-op feature in it that was added with that version. Okay, so I guess you would want to mm. try that one then, Jordy. Okay, but, yeah, I was just curious. That, yeah, other than that, yeah, I, can, I don't think I can think of many that were like this. Um, uh, there, what was that one that both, we Go ahead. Uh, do you both own a... Do you, do you both own a, uh, I don't know, like an iPad or an iPhone or something? Uh, we both have iPhones, yes. Ooh. Then, uh... The Apple Arcade does have this interesting Battle Royale variation of Pac-Man. That's crazy. The only thing nice. is, though, my dad, he's very far-sighted, and his phone is kind of on the smaller side, so it's going to be a little bit hard for him. Then, then the that's, switch on the TV fair. would probably be your best bet. Yeah, probably. Uh, what so, was I, uh, I, will, I will admit, like... We had a little too much fun with this this, ver this segment of our little uh, recording session, so we decided to go a little further with... Uh, it looked like they were kissing! Just, <laughs> uh, oh, I love you, Pac Baby. King, dang, dang it, Kinky's joined up ah, with the red ghost, and now, oh, jeez, now there's two. He of them. made Clyde fat, and now he's and, spitting out, he's spitting out more pellets for us to eat. Oh, now you can eat the big ones. Yeah, okay, we need to get those big guys out of there, otherwise they'll there basically go. ruin your chances of getting 100% out of God the stage. <laughs> she kissed me right. Oh, she, she was leaving the it. door. Yeah, what I was gonna say is, oh, jeez, they're they're really not backing up anymore. There we go. Gosh. So, um, what I was going to say is Boing. that, um, I got more ghosts, ghosts. yay. Oh. So yeah, I, I was super, yeah. I was super invested with all the new mechanics that this, that this added, and it's really enjoyable to see them work with this. What Oops. was the name of that, what was the name of that arcade game that we tried out at a, dang it, at a Dave and Buster's? Uh, Pac-Man Battle Royale. Oh, that was the Battle Royale Ooh. that we won. Is that okay, the one that, that had Charles Martin as the announcer? No, that was Pac-Man Versus. Oh, that's neat. I mean, I know it's a little, I know it's a little tricky to uh, 
pick out all the all the uh, bat <laughs> the freaking multiplayer Whoa. centric Pac-Man games just because they're so. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know. You are cornered. You fool! Now they now they become super ghosts. Yeah, all these. Yeah, I will admit these super ghosts are pretty Ten. neat. Like the mechanics for them. And I'm surprised that they never brought that brought the gimmick back in, in any other future iteration of Pac-Man. Like. It's such a cool, it's such an interesting idea, and it, it's sort of like a risk versus reward sort of thing, where, like, you have this whole weird, th this weird trump card in the form of Kinky, just go roaming around. You can eat them to turn the ghost blue and eat them up, even though it, it, in doing so, they, they run on a shorter timer. But at the same right. time, if he reaches one of the ghosts, he, he, could, he could turn them into much more powerful variations of themselves and give you a harder time as a result. Yeah. But the, Every uh, single and, one. And, and on top of that, nice. whenever you eat a bigger ghost, you do get double the points you normally would. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, hi. What do you have to say about all this Pac-Man and? Well, I feel like I feel like as far as like Pac-Man itself, I feel like I don't have like anything new to say because you know, considering how many Double Dane Pac-Man things we've done in this channel, I will give this one credit. This does look like it has a uh, quite a bit of innovation compared to like some of the other, like uh, other. I'm trying to say other times they do the oh look we have the old game but now we do something new with it I do like some of the stuff that they do here mm -hmm. yeah hi right, so it's, it's it's just it's just a fun it's just a fun time overall especially if, if you have a friend and yeah mm -hmm. I have no idea how long this particular version of the game is otherwise uh, God... it lasts for it lasts for about uh, five worlds I think but that, oh, that said though you don't have to see the you don't have to see all of it because we yeah. as I've said before. Uh, years ago, Logan and I actually did meet up and uh, did an entire playthrough of it, and you can watch it uh, as I pop the card right here. Mm -hmm. Assuming Future Gummy can remember to do that. But um, on that note, folks, uh, hope you all enjoyed our little look at of the Namco Classics Collection Volume 2. Again, arcade exclusive, though I do remember that some games on it uh, were re-released in some form or fashion. Like, uh, Pac-Man Arrangement was on a, the GameCube Namco, Namco Collection, as well as the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance Exclusive Pac-Man Collection, which... I mean, an interesting deal for its time, even though it's dated as all get out by today's standards. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the, all I can really say on the matter. And hope to God, well, despite all that's happening this year, maybe Namco will still be able to give us uh, some more ways to twist a, uh, cla a classic formula. Alrighty. So that's it. Uh, Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm afraid we're going to have to cancel the next Pac-Man game because Pac-Man has Corona.